So I have a furnace right here um, that uh, doesn't work. Um, and uh, first of all, let's go over or where are all the components at, um, and then I'll go through what's wrong with it. So first of all, the access panel to a furnace is down here. You just pull it open. You can see the gas valve right here. You can see the control knob to change the speed of the fan right there. There's an electric plug right there. Now let's uh, take off this fan and just pull it upwards. So underneath here has two levers that you can pull open. And then the next part is that now you can raise the screen off. So after I have the screen off, let's move a couple of logs away. In a second, your uh, thermal pile, pizza, pilots, and thermal coupler are all right there. So, let's first look at the wiring. Here's a uh, 115 volts. Goes to that wire right there. And you can see the wire traces all the way to this control knob. This control knob then has wires that come out, where that blue wire is, and goes all the way up. And goes all the way to this thermal sensor. This thermal sensor right there. And then the wire then goes to the motor. And you can see all of this in the schematic. So what happened is this, is that electricity comes in, you can control the speed of, uh, you can control the voltage level, which then controls the speed of the blower. But in order for the blower to come on, this thermal sensor has to get up to a certain temperature, then it was short for the motor to come on. So if the motor doesn't come on after, let's say, 10 minutes, that's what the instructions say, then either the motor is bad, you don't have electricity coming in, the control, speed control is bad, or uh, the thermal sensor is bad. Most likely it should be, if you do have power, most likely it should be either the thermal sensor or the electric motor. So, for this scenario, that wasn't the case. For this scenario, this is what's going on. Um, so, I push down pilot, and then I press the ignite pizza, so now I have the pilot coming on. And let it burn for a little bit. So, I let go of the pilot. Pilot is, I let go of it. Pot's still going. I turn this all the way to on. On is there. So this is uh, controlling how strong the uh, furnace is going to come on. I'm going to have it at medium. So in between high and low, medium right there. And then when I call for heat, right here. Switch it over to on. Nothing happens. Turn back to off. Inside this unit has a metal plate that you can pull out. And as you can see right here, uh, the brand name, the model number, and you can look up the service manual that way. So on page 15 has uh, troubleshooting for this furnace unit. Uh, it's a Honeywell system apparently. Um, so let's start out at the start uh, of the flowchart. And as you go down the flowchart, you can see the first question asks, does the gas, uh, do you have gas coming to, this, to the unit? Now, if you don't have gas, it says check the, if you have it hooked up or if the shutoff valve is open. Now, um, if you do have gas coming into it, does the, uh, uh, igniter come on. Now if it doesn't come on then hey maybe it's in uh, lockout has engaged and so wait 60 seconds. After you wait 60 seconds if it still doesn't come on then check to, check these specs right here. Does it have one eighth inch of a gap uh, to the pilot hood? 
Um, do you have wires connected? And if everything checks out correctly, then hey, maybe you have a, a bad uh, uh, igniter, so replace that. So let's say if you do have uh, uh, the piece that does ignite, then does the pilot light itself does it stay lit? Now, if it doesn't stay lit, then maybe um, the thermal pile needs a uh, well. First of all, the thermal pile needs a minimum of 325 millivolts, and it doesn't. If it doesn't have that, it won't come on. If the thermal coupler doesn't have 14 millivolts generate 14 millivolts, then that won't come on. So these are some of the issues. Now, if the pilot light does stay lit, then does the burner come on? Now, if the burner doesn't come on, again, go back to the thermal pile. It again needs 325 millivolts. Um, is a valve turned on? Uh, is a wall switched on or off? You need to make sure that those are the conditions. Uh, do you have a plugged uh, orifice? And if all these check out, you should the system should work. So I have my digital multimeter right here, and it's set to DC. And if I measure between these two points right here, I should get about 350, 400 volts, which I do get that. And then if I turn on, I should now measure about 300 and something volts. But I have only 200, I mean millivolts, but I have only 200 and something millivolts from here to here. I also have 200 and something millivolts. So at least the switch works. I know the switch works. But I'm only getting 200 and something millivolts. So that might be the problem. So let me turn this back off. Alright. So I'm going to let this cool off. But here's my issue. As you can see, that it's pretty dirty. Um, the thermal pile and the thermal coupler, they're both pretty dirty and I think that's the reason why that I need to clean it off. And you can see that the, all the gunk right there. What is interesting is that my friend told me that uh, that she hired some, uh, a furnace technician uh, to come out and service this. So as you can see that before and after I cleaned it, um, I couldn't clean it with one hand holding the camera and uh, on brushing it, but the idea is pretty uh, straightforward. Um, you want to use steel wool or a metal brush. You just brush over it um, and you remove it. Um, you could use sandpaper, I don't recommend that, but if that's all you have, then go right ahead. Um, so after it's clean, let's uh, now turn it on, turn on the pilot, and, and retest the, uh, the millivolt level. So right now, after cleaning it, it looks like the fire is burning a lot cleaner too. Um, and as you can see, I'm measuring the millivolt level. As you can see right now, it went up to 458, which is a huge improvement than before. And let me uh, turn on the furnace to on. As you can see now it, the fire comes on and if we give it about 10 minutes uh, that would sensor right there would heat up and then it will then kick on the fan down here the motor.